What is up guys, welcome back to Mainly Movies, the channel where we talk about, well, Mainly Movies. Today I'm going to be reviewing El Camino, directed by Vince Gilligan and stars Aaron Paul. This story follows the character Jesse Pinkman after the events of the show Breaking Bad. Jesse is on the run from the police and he also needs money to buy his freedom. So just like in my Breaking Bad review, I am a, I'm quite a bit of a big fan of the TV series. I actually hadn't completed the TV series once this movie was announced. So I wasn't overly that excited for this movie, but once I got really involved with the show and it became one of my favourite TV shows of all time, then I got really, really excited. For this movie. I know quite a bit of Breaking Bad fans would have had to wait a while for this. This is kind of like a second ending to the Breaking Bad show. But I personally didn't have to wait long because once I'd finished the show, which I bought the box set so I had all the seasons, once I'd finished the show the very next day I could watch El Camino, which this review is quite late. Anyway, there's a few things I wanted to talk about with this movie because this movie is really good and it is an ending that is well deserved. I think Aaron Paul did a great job playing the character once again. He portrays Jesse as a bit more serious now. Also I just want to clarify that this contains a bit of minor spoilers since the movie has been out for a couple of weeks now. The opening scene of this movie which is a flashback between one of the episodes with Mike and Jesse and they're talking about how Jesse can escape all this and he can basically become free and what would he do if he was free and well that's the kind of goal that Jesse's trying to achieve in this movie which is something I really liked. For the majority of this movie it is quite slow in my opinion because it's pretty much majority of this movie is Jesse trying to find this money that Todd had hidden in his apartment that in a flashback we get to see Jesse and Todd go there. Speaking of Todd, this movie does give Todd a bit more depth and we kind of learn a bit more about Todd through this movie because he was kind of only introduced in season 5 and then he died and we didn't really know him too much. But this movie really shows Todd and uh, his kind of, not so much his backstory, but more of his mental state. Some of the flashback scenes are really good. Some of them feel quite unnecessary, like one part in particular when Todd is in the car singing. But most of them are necessary and they move the plot forward. The flashbacks are done well because they, they kind of introduce a scene we will see a flashback and then once the flashback is over we will then see the present time Jesse trying to accomplish something that had happened in that flashback if that makes any sense. For example we see a flashback of Todd showing Jesse the money and some awful things that he's done in his apartment and then we cut to present time where Jesse is now at his apartment trying to find this money so he can go to Robert Forster's character and get a new identity and move to Alaska, which is his overall goal in this movie. The end of the second act and the beginning of the third act is probably one of my favourite parts of this whole movie because it becomes a revenge film. When Jesse's at Todd's apartment, he comes across these two police officers. They end up pretend to arrest him because they're pretend cops. They're they're disguising as a cop so they can go to Todd's apartment because it's all kind of, it's all boarded up because the police have searched his house. Then Jesse ends up finding out that they're faking it and they're not actually police officers. They're actually a metal fabrication company that helped build the contraption that he was in when he was held hostage by Todd. They end up stealing some of the money and so he kind of asks them for the money but in a way he has sort of a plan and then they do this kind of cool western standoff shootout scene at the end and it becomes like a revenge film in that certain part of the movie and I really enjoyed that as well. But my biggest negatives with this movie is that the second act can get extremely slow and in a way this movie feels like a Quentin Tarantino movie not because of the dialogue or you know the over cinematic 
violence. It's nothing like that. The reason I said that it's like a Quentin Tarantino movie is because Tarantino likes to, he likes to utilize a scene and kind of make that scene quite long. In this case, those, the scenes are long because of tension reasons. Quentin Tarantino uses them because that's just kind of his style. In certain scenes of this movie, they are quite long and it can get a little bit frustrating at some times, especially with the flashback scenes. This movie, in a way, does feel like a long episode of Breaking Bad, but it also does feel like a movie, but it has this kind of... For me, it has this unbalancedness of what Vince Gilligan was trying to create. In one part, it feels like he's trying to make a movie, and in another part, it feels like he's trying to make an elongated episode of Breaking Bad, and for some reason, that just doesn't balance well for me. Overall, I feel like the ending to Jesse in this movie is perfect, and I like what they did with the character in this movie. Aaron Paul played him brilliantly, and the story was good, and it was kind of a necessary story to tell. It was just the kind of creative choices and the structure of the film that kind of bothered me a little bit. But overall, I enjoyed it, and I've watched it quite a bit since it's come out. I can see myself watching it more, but it is definitely an ending worth watching to the character Jesse Pinkman, and I rather enjoyed it, which is why I'm going to give El Camino a Breaking Bad movie a 7 out of 10. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.